How many of you are familiar with the classic American musical, The Music Man? <laughs> I often think of the beginning of Harold Hill's uh, song, We've Got Trouble. Now, Harold Hill is uh, somebody who comes from outside of a small town in Iowa and shows up and he tells uh, the people of this small town that they need to take action. And he begins uh, his call to action with this um, phrase that often comes to mind for me. He says, now either you are closing your eyes to a situation you do not choose to acknowledge, or you are not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Now, he uses this pool table as a, a point of incitement to get everybody to take action. But I often think about the caliber of disaster that is indicated by the presence of a number of other things in this community that we often uh, do not choose to acknowledge. This coming Sunday, I want to talk about um, asylum seekers uh, who have arrived in Albany and our response to the presence of such people in our community. Uh, we have not talked about this. This has uh, been a, a feature of our community since Memorial Day, when uh, a busload of migrants, of asylum seekers who were at the U.S.-Mexico border, who came to New York City, got put on a bus from New York City and sent to Albany, where they all arrived and stayed in a hotel. And they're still there. And there's a number of other hotels now that are filled with asylum seekers. And uh, we haven't talked about it, and it seems to me that it presents a big moral question. What are we to do about the presence of such people in our community? Now, we have the perfect scripture uh, to um, use as a point of jumping off point of consideration. And this is a, a passage from the 18th chapter of Matthew. Now, we did talk about it this past, uh, I guess, July. Paul Randall led a discussion service about this particular parable where there's a vineyard owner and some people come early and some people come late and everybody gets paid the same and the people who worked all day get annoyed because they feel that they deserve something that the people who came at the last minute um, didn't deserve. And at the end of this, the vineyard owner says to the workers, are you envious because I am generous. What should we do with this? What should we do with that passage in general? And how does it help us understand how we are to respond to something that is a very present and urgent need in our community? We're going to talk about it on Sunday. I hope that you'll talk about it with me. And um, let's see if we get a sense of God's guidance to us as a congregation and us as people. I'll see you Sunday in Zoom or in person.